Hey, you wanna go for a ride? No thanks. No thanks? What, what, what does that mean? I don't wanna go. Go where? For a ride. A ride! Now that's a good idea. Okay, let's go. Barbary Coast, a very famous uh, scene with uh, Dennis Hopper doing the, the beginning of the joy ride. They uh, pull up, we were exterior night here when we shot it, um, which we did at the end of the night. We started inside because we had interior work to do first, so we did like a split call that day if I would venture. I don't know for sure, but having been an AD for 30 years, I'm sure we started inside and waited for it to get dark to come outside, and it was the what kind of beer do you like, kid? Heineken? Heineken, fuck that shit. Paps Blue Ribbon. Come on. I want you to meet a friend of mine. Hey, Raymond, you get enough beer for Ben, too. What kind of beer do you like? Heineken. Heineken? Fuck that shit! Paps Blue Ribbon! Very famous, the neon, this is it, Dennis Hopper says, and you can see it underneath the Barbary Coast sign there. This is... It. Raymond? Thank you, Raymond. This is it. So, 25 years, I don't think anything's changed <laughs> at all. Even uh, Bob and Randy are still here. Sure. Um, so, when we... When we first uh, were, were scouting locations for the movie, we came into this bar with Dave. It was a, a small group of us, David and Ellen Rausch, the first AD, myself, Fred Caruso, and decided this was going to be the bar. There happened to be against this wall sitting here, and I'm not sure if it was this table or that table, a woman, and I don't remember her name. She was probably 30s, maybe, not sure, but she asked us what we were doing, and we said, oh, we're scouting for a movie, and she said to David Lynch, well, I gotta show you something. I, I have a real unique talent. And of course, David, always one to chat up the locals, said, well, what is it? So she takes a, an old-fashioned book, a plain book of matches, and um, pulls a match out of the book, the cardboard match, and splits the head of the match where the sulfur is, pulls out her right breast out of her shirt, licks the match, sticks it on her nipple so that the back end of the match is sticking out, takes another match, lights it, lights the end of the, the match, and it burns down to the sulfur and goes Whoosh! Well, David was uh, beyond belief, couldn't believe it, and said, Ian, we gotta have her in the movie. We need to, and I was like, well, what are we gonna pay her? Because, you know, you know she, She's, it's not gonna, there's not going to be dialogue. He goes, no, no, we'll, we're going to give her a day player contract at the time, the Screen Actors Guild day player contract. It was like $275, which was a lot of money in 1985. So, can we, so, in, the, in so the scenes that we shot in this bar actually never made it in the movie. Um, you see them enter the bar, and then you see them show up in Ben's apartment. whole sequence that played here with a fight and Willard and pool table and topless girls. Well, in that footage, sitting over here in the corner by the ladies' room was, in the footage you could see this woman lighting her little match thingy and seeing, you see it flare in the way that, and it was not, not featured at all. It was in the deep background of the shot. And of course, it didn't make it in. It didn't make it into the film. The the, the final cut that we we had, it, it wasn't in there. I'm sure it's in the four, you know David's director's cut, but this whole sequence didn't make it in there. And that's one of these little known stories on Blue Velvet that, uh, well, I was there. 